This is the ESOC Series 250E. We are now going to prime a fuel system. We are going to remove the draw tube. Insert it into the fuel tank. Note the size of the draw tube. It will fit right into the anti-siphon. And now we're going to Now we take our suction hose. And we connect it to our pickup tube. Just like so. Okay. Now we're going to take our dispensing line. We're going to connect our copy check adapter and now we're going to connect the adapter to the engine fuel module now we've already drained the module and now we're going to pressurize it and do the prime. Now with our connection made to the fuel module, the filters have been changed. We're now going to prime the engine. Okay, we're going to flip the power switch to on. Nope, we have pressure on the gauge. Now we're going to open the fault control valve. We are now priming the engine. Note the pressure on the gauge. It is more than adequate to prime this engine or any other engine. We also have a fuel filter below, which again you see the level is near the top of the filter. Once that level reaches the top, that's telling you that the filter is dirty and needs to be changed. Now on the control panel, we have a little indicator light, a little red indicator. This indicator will come on after about 2 minutes and 15 seconds of the prime. This engine requires a 2 minute prime, but we give it 15 more seconds for the fuel to fill the module so we get the full 2 minute prime at the high pressure required. Notice on the back of the control panel, we have that yellow handle along with the black knob. This is reading our pressure. 95 PSI with the handle up, adjustable pressure, the handle will go down. Then we can adjust the pressure accordingly to whatever pressure we need to set it at. You notice our fuel filter level has dropped even lower now. That is because this filter is brand new and it, it should have a lifespan of at least 50, 60 primers. Priming. Scratch that. <laughs> now back at the fuel tank, you see our draw tube in the fuel tank, our suction hose coming to the machine and our discharge hose connected to the engine. By this time our light should have came on and let's take a look. And our red indicator light is on. That's telling us it's time to start the engine. Now for engines that have a lower prime pressure, you would select adjustable prime, start, to turn the power switch to on, adjust the pressure to the pressure required, 
PSA 30 PSI. And open up the 12 and drill down. Notice that the pressure has dropped. So now you're going to want to just bump it up a little bit more. See, hit that 30 PSI. And now it will run indefinitely until you turn the machine off. Notice that we have switched the pressure hose and vacuum hose around, or suction hose. The pressure hose is now connected to the standpipe that's in the fuel tank, and our suction hose is now connected to the DAVCO fuel filter. We are now going to remove the fuel out of the DAVCO fuel filter, filter it through the ESOC filter, sending it back into the engine. I'm sorry, back into the fuel tank. Good thing for voiceovers. We're now going to start the ESOC machine. Power on. We're going to open the flow control valve. Enter the ESOC filter, turn the machine to off. As you can see, the DAVCO filter is now empty and the cartridge can be changed. Notice that we have switched the hoses once again. We now have the pressure hose connected to the DAVCO and the suction hose is now connected to the fuel tank. We are now going to start the machine. We're going to set the pressure to adjustable prime and we back this knob off first, close our ball valve, power the machine on, adjust our pressure to about 30 psi, open our flow control valve, You're going to see the fuel level in the DAFCO rise. We are, now, we are now going to show you another way of filling the DAVCO filter if the ESOC connection is not available. Each machine comes with a fuel dispenser which would connect to the pressure side of the coupler, the pressure side hose. Remove the vent cap. Start the machine. Once again at 30 PSI. Open the flow control valve and you can manually fill it. Let the filter rest for a few minutes, whatever time it takes for all the air to escape out of the filter. This should not take more than 30-40 seconds at the most. And then install the vent cap and it's ready to, and it's ready to start. We are now going to start the engine.
We are now going to pull the pickup tube out of the fuel tank. Point the nipple up. You see the fuel level in the, the tube. Just push the nipple in with your finger, allowing the tube to drain. Wipe it down with a rag. And place it back on the machine.